the rush hour rhythm. In the 17th most congested city in the country. And some days you'll you'll get that road rage going. For Baltimore commuter Jim Meyer. <laughs> it's a daily test of his driving patience. Not only can I look out the windows and see that I'm not moving, I can look at a larger digital representation and see that I'm not moving. There's just so many ways to take in the fact that I'm stuck. Lately, what's fueling his frustration is the disturbance on Charles Street. Construction on Charles Street never stops. Ten blocks of the city's most historic street are getting a facelift. New street lights, new trees, new sidewalks. But all of this construction is snarling traffic and rattling the nerves of those who live and work here. You got this thing outside and it's boom, boom, boom. I've actually had to go back upstairs and put some people's pictures back up on the wall. It is nice to have new streets and sidewalks, but it's just been an absolute mess the way they've handled it. The city started this work exactly two years ago. It was supposed to have wrapped up this past February, but all has not gone as planned. When crews started digging into this historic street, what they discovered is not what they expected. We thought it was all soil under there, but we realized it was some rock and there were some things that we did not anticipate. So with that, we had to change our course. And with one delay comes another. Many of the new trees the city planted along Charles have already died. We, we, we don't really know what happened with the trees. We want to replant them because they all died out. What was to be an 18-month project has become a 28-month project. The city predicts it'll be wrapped up by the end of the year. I can't wait till it gets done. It's just, it's an inconvenience, yes. I'll be glad when it's finished. I'm, I'm losing tires to nails and alignment to steel plates. But commuter Jim Meyer has learned a costly lesson. When it comes to rush hour, there's little rush. I love traffic. <laughs> Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News at 10.